we just shot the video uh, for Kleptomania 23 of our finds. So I just wanted to add this on to the video. We completely, I completely forgot to say we got Razor and Mo. Um, I forgot about it. It fell down here. It was in a bag and it was down there. So when I piled them up to go to work, it must have fell down there. But anyway, these were great finds as well. The Batman was the main event. But this was the main event as well. So there's two main events. They went against each other. Let's put it that way. But anyway, I got Razor Moan to find a moment. Uh, I purchased two. I wish I purchased three. The reason being is one was going to get sold. One was going to be stayed uh, boxed. And one was going to be loose on my shelf. Yeah. The great figures. They're awesome. I really fell in love with them to the point where I was like, I'm buying two. I've bought two. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, I do want to take one out because I do believe that having one loose would be awesome. Um, I did think because when we were buying stuff around Collectomania, we went round, we went round twice, then we got some to eat. I put loads of stuff back into the boot. So I went back empty handed uh, and I assumed that I brought more of these when I didn't. So I was one short, which is fine. I've got two. Um, so I've got to decide what I'm going to do with them. But I just wanted you guys to know that We've got the Razor Ramones as well. So I just didn't want to miss them out on the video. Okay. But guys, stay tuned. Because now you can watch the full video. So enjoy. Okay. And thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. This is my result from Kleptomania 23. I had a blast. I had a great time. It was brilliant. It was also great to find loads of people who are actually on Black Hat TV subscribed. I actually seen them at Kleptomania 23. That was awesome. The costumes, the outfits, what people were wearing was awesome. The toy stores, everything was great this year. And I had such, so much fun going around it all. And also it was recorded. But like I said, this is the result. This is to show you guys what I picked up this year, which I was really happy with, which topped last year. Do you know what I mean? Beat it, knocked it out of the park. This is everything I've got so far from, from here, here to here to the floor yeah that's everything i picked up brilliant i'm happy with it we're gonna go through it all um but like i said you know this was more of getting stuff for my collection but i managed to find things for retro mania light page as well um if you guys haven't seen the photos yet from from kleptomania uh, you can find them on Instagram. I put them all on Instagram. All you guys put in is hashtag Kleptomania23 or hashtag BlackHeartTV, okay? Brilliant. Right, let's get straight into it. Um, it was crazy because there was loads of Batman stuff up there this year. Uh, there wasn't a lot of Superman stuff, which annoyed me quite a bit. Uh, I kind of felt that it was lacking a lot. So, obviously, you know, there's not a lot of Superman. There's a big demand for Superman. And I always find that going to Collectomania or any other toy fair, Superman's always the one I never really see. Probably see the odd one, like, you know, the Kenner one and stuff like that. But I don't see a lot of it. But Batman this year was crazy. There was a lot of it. There was also a lot of the Arkham, um, the Arkham Asylum and the Arkham City figures up there as well. So I managed to get them for a great price, which I'm happy about. Um, I did pick up one figure, which is, looks like Superman, but I'll explain that more once we find the figure through all of this. Um, but it was great. So let's let's get, let's crack on. It was brilliant. So we've got Raza Ghoul, yeah, which is awesome. Picked up Raza Ghoul, and then we also picked up another one. From the series as well. You know. So it was great getting both of them. You know. I'm so happy to get them. And they're a great price. So they're going to be waxed straight here. One here. Uh, and then I'm going to probably, I'll probably move them over and stick one. So probably end up being two. Yeah. You guys got the drift. So that's those. Uh, that's that bag. And then this bag. was loads of different all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we go from we go from IRS own our shyster, uh, you know classic Jacks figure. The only problem with it is you know he's missing the tie and stuff. But you know I just seen a classic figure and um, I had to just grab him. Basically, that's the story with him. Okay, and then we have some Spider Man. Yeah, the Spider Man figure is a villain. Yeah, I think it's the lizard. Yeah, and we also have a Mattel figure, 
I love the Mattel stuff. So I grabbed that. I believe that's Johnny. No, John Morrison. Yeah. John Morrison. Uh, and I always remember his name is Mysterio from the from the original Spider-Man cartoons. Don't quote me on that. You guys do your research. I think it is. But I knew he was from Spider-Man, so I just grabbed him. Yeah. And also this beast as well, which is quite big. You know what? Let's get him out there. Look, look at that. I seen that and the price, and I thought I'd grab that. I can't remember his name off by heart, uh, but I knew he was Marvel. Is he Marvel? Uh, no, it's not Marvel, actually. No, but I'll find out. who He'll be on Retro Mania anyway. So this one will probably go for sale. This was just something that I bought for the page, really. It wasn't really for myself, but it was quite a nice, you know, contraption. This one I'm going to come to. Don't worry about that. That's my. I'm going to tell you about that. We've got a story behind that. Also, um, there was a lot of Scarface stuff as well. There was mainly like um, a lot of like um, posters and stuff like that. But there wasn't a lot of toys really. Uh, so, but I found this one, which is in there. It was fourteen ninety nine. I'm going to tell you guys, it's fine. It got reduced to fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. It's got no rifle, right? So no rifles in there. But I'm I'm happy with that. Anybody seen this video? If you've got a rifle for this, yeah, uh, please holler at me. Yeah, I'm on all the social networks, so you can find me. Please check the links below. Yeah. Uh, so this one I managed to get for twelve pound because it collector mania never paid the full price. Yeah, always trying to do a little bit of barter. Anybody watching this who owns a store at collector mania, you know you know who I am. You know, and you got arts. You don't arts. You know, you're never gonna know are you. But that's brilliant. So I got it for 12. Happy with that at all. That will suit some of my Scarface figures. Like I said, missed the rifle. Not a big deal, really. I am going to unbox it and whack him on my shelf. I like them loose anyway. You guys know that anyway. Don't really need to tell you that. Awesome. And uh, we've got another one in here, which I picked up for. Yeah. Which is uh, the original four. Is it four? Four or however you say it. Uh, the original one, which it actually is in the Avengers as well. Uh, but this is where the original outfit sort of thing, yeah? So that's that one. I picked that one up. That's actually for Collector Mania. Not Collector Mania. That's for Retro Mania. And the Phoenix. Got told that was the Phoenix out of X-Men, which is nice. Yeah, I've kind of kept it in there. Yeah, okay. Looks a bit like a doll. But believe it or not, guys, these are quite collectible. And they're hard to get, so... I had to grab it. I only picked up one Hasbro, which was Crush. And I've actually got this Crush already. So uh, I, I picked him up. There was loads of other ones I found. I found Nails. Um, I found Papa Shango. It was loads of, as you would have said, run-of-the-mill sort of ones uh, that you know you usually find anyway. Nails is quite a hard one to find occasionally, but nine times out of ten, you'll get him on eBay or anything like that. Whether you get it for the right price, who knows? But it was one of the ones where it was like there was no Series 11. So it was just mainly like, you know, other series, yeah? But I picked up that one because it was in great condition. And my head kept on telling me crush, which is good. Because that was in better condition than my one. So I can have that one. The other one can go on the page, yeah? The other one's still good. So it's just, just how I am. Okay, Sabre Tooth. Awesome. And it's got the big bushy hair on the back there, if you can see that. Yeah. Big push, yeah, but it's quite a nice figure. Yeah, Sabre Tooth. And I had to get this. This this is, you know, one of my childhood games where I used to love playing. I remember buying the uh, the game, the PlayStation magazine, and reading about it, which is Warzone. Which Warzone is what I'm going to be doing on Black Arrow TV with uh, my good friend Kev Dizzle. We're going to be doing this one. Well, I'm going to be doing this one. Basically, we've both arranged that we've got to pick up, we've got to pick a game each we're going to do a review on. So this is the one I've picked because this game is brilliant. Uh, you don't hear much about Warzone, but it was a great game for the moves and stuff like that. Has quite glitches in it. There's uh, one glitch where you can do a backflip with Shawn Michaels and the body will be there and you'll land here, but you'll still land on top of it. It's just weird. Bit of glitch. You know, check out on YouTube. Somebody's probably posted that. But good game. Love it. Okay, so that's what I've done. And also a Wolverine playset. Yeah, this one's complete. I didn't think it was, but it actually is. It's got all the characters with it. And it's also got uh, a few like rocks and stuff. So that one's actually a real good playset and it's in good condition. That's it. Do you know what I mean? You don't need no more than that. Yeah. 
Ah, and I picked up with uh, members of LOD, Legion of Doom, which is this animal in really good condition. The great thing about this is, this is the same one I've actually got over there. So this one will be going on the page. Limited stock, this is the last one I've got. Okay, so just letting you guys know, this is the last one. So if you see this video and you want this video, uh, get to me on Retromania, you know? So let me know. Because that is literally my last one. I haven't got any more of that. Uh, Superman figure, one of the old school ones. That was, sorry guys, I probably told a little white lie. It was, it was only uh, two Superman figures I got. This is the original Superman figure I got. The other one I got is not really Superman, but we'll get to that. But it's still a nice little figure. I thought it was pretty nice. Um, you know, the price was right, and I'm a Superman geek, so there we go. Okay, uh, we've got Wolverine as well. Can't have enough of Wolverine figures. I've got so many different Wolverine figures, it's ridiculous. But we have to get them, yeah? Awesome, and I've got more. But this bag here is really good. I I met with a guy on Retromania. He's bought from me in the past, and he was going to Kleptomania, and he actually made an order. We did a trade, and we met at Kleptomania, and we did a swap. So he was really happy with it. I was really happy with it. But it just goes to show that, you know, you know, going to these events, we get to meet, I get to meet you guys, because a lot of the time, I'm always sending stuff to you, but I've never really seen you in person. So it was great meeting up with you, mate. And thanks for the items. They're brilliant. And I'm glad you're happy with yours. But anybody who's you know, going to any kleptomania or any other event that you know I'm going to, which I'll post, if we want to do a trade before we go up, we can do it. But please, if you do do that, make sure that you do deliver, yeah? Because I had to carry stuff around for this one. And it was a bit annoying. So thank God he was honest and stuck to his word, yeah? Okay, so... Out of that trade, this this trade, this is not what I purchased at Kleptomania, this is the trade, yeah? This is Superman figure, really nice, it's been open, it's missing the comic book, which I believe it comes with a comic book, yeah? But you also get Supergirl as well, and then other characters, yeah? But this one I really like, so this one I am going to take out the box and whack on my Superman collection down there. So I'm happy with that. Any Superman figure I'm grateful for. G-Con Gun, these are the Logic 3 ones, what they used to... Uh, what they brought out um looks quite good i asked him does it work he doesn't know nine times out of ten i remember i remember working in the, back in the shop a lot of these didn't work there was a batch what didn't work there's a batch what did work you know just like anything um so if it works great if it doesn't work i'm not too fast i'm just happy to see one to be fair because i quite like them you know right and also old game for the playstation yeah so that's really nice. So we've got loads to go through, guys. Stay tuned. Yeah, and then we've got Temp Nubiosity Jr. Mattel. Which is nice. I'm really digging these Mattel stuff. I love Mattel. I really do. Oh, we've got some Hasbros. This is part of the trade, yeah? So we've got Brett the Hitman Hat. We've got Axe out of Demolition. We've also got Typhoon. Yeah, so there's some nice figures there. We'll whack these down here. Oh, sorry, one minute, guys, that's it. And then we've got Triple H, yeah, which I've had this on Retromania many times before. Back to the Future. Now, I've sold Back to the Future lately, but I've got another one in. This Back to the Future is mint, in really good condition, uh, you know, so it's really nice. And also, it's, come on, it's got, it's got this. Do you, do you, some of you guys will appreciate this. The old school gamers, but it's got that as well, which is really nice, yeah? So it makes a big difference, and the cartridge is great. It looks, to be fair, it looks brand new. Like he said, he got it out of his loft. I really do believe him. He got it out of his loft, because that is in great condition. We've got another bag. So I did well this year, guys. I hope you guys are proud of me, you know? I did well this year. So we also got Stone Cold Steve Austin. I remember rightly, somebody can correct me if they want, but this was the heel version. This was when he was heel. Because I remember he turned heel and he had the red uh, knee braces, yeah? But I love it because this is a Stone Cold figure. It actually looks like Stone Cold and it's Mattel as well. So I'm going to whack this one here right next to the Undertaker. Or I might whack it right there. No, no, I'm going to whack it there. Yeah, put this there. Perfect. Love that figure. Wish I got a loose one. Okay. And I've got, ah, sorry, I've got some more, uh, more Hasbro's. The Narcissist Lex Luger. Yeah, which is nice, in good condition. And that's for Retromania. 
because I've got one. That's a good one, the Genius, yeah, which is one of the classic ones, which is really nice. And saying that, I don't know if it's got his hat, his little, um, I think that's missing that. I haven't opened this one, so I'll check it. It might be in there, because sometimes people can pull it underneath and wrap it and tie it so it doesn't come out anyway, but even though it's sealed anyway. I'm just hoping, so I can make excuses. But hope, I'm hoping I'm right. Yeah, Gonzalez, I'm really happy with this one. Only problem is, I forgot to check this. It's got a bit of rattling there, but who cares? It's going to be standing on my mantelpiece anyway. So he's going to be standing on that. That's all he's going to be doing. And he's really good, and I might do a video on him. Perfect figure, great detail. Um, I really do like it. But like I said, I'm probably going to purchase another one boxed. Because lately I seem to be liking ones loose and boxed, yeah? So I'll whack that one there. And then I've got Eddie Guerrero, which is nice. This one's actually on the page already, not with this T-shirt. I believe it's got a different T-shirt as well. Okay, but it's a nice Eddie Guerrero. And not being funny, the guy's a legend, so he's worth any penny he's going for. I'm not saying I'm going to put up the price, I'm just saying. Okay, and then we've got Andre the Giant, another legend. Yeah, this one is in okay condition. The back's got a few scratches on it, but if you're having it on your shelf, he'll look good like that. So if you like it like that, it's good. Yeah, so that's Andre the Giant, Bulls Mahoney. Yeah, the thing is, when I put him on, I'm going to put him with a chair. I think I've got a chair, and I remember he used to always have a blue or black chair with loads of um, graffiti on it. And I know my missus is quite good at stuff like that. She's, good, she's quite a good artist for that, so I'm going to leave that to her, yeah? She'll probably do some art. We might do, as if she gets time, okay? And then I'm going to show you this one, which I'm happy with. I got it on a great deal with the, uh, with the Arkham City stuff. But this one I really like. And I've got one of them loose, but not exactly the same one. Yeah, Batman again. But look at that, baby. That is really nice. It's got Harlequin in there. It's got Batman. It's got the Joker. It's really nice. Um, I'll tell you guys, because, you know, I'm not being, you, know you, you guys are really good on the page. I'm going to tell you. It was originally uh, 60, 60 quid, uh, but it did drop down to a great price. So, you know, a little bit of battering made a big difference with this um, this exchange, which I was happy with. And not just that, I took a good bit of money with, so I had a lot to play with um, this year, which was good. And I think that's how I'm going to continue to do it. Uh, it was good because I sacrificed a lot, and my partner was very supportive. So if you've got a really supportive partner, you can get stuff like this. Because if I didn't have somebody who was really supportive, it would be hard to get this. Even though I might see it, I, I can't purchase it because... You'd have that conflict with your missus. You don't want that conflict. It's not worth it. But my missus understands my passion for this, which is great. So one what can understand you do, doing this is a godsend, yeah? But this is the figure I was talking about in the beginning. was the uh, Superman sort of looking figure, which was this one. Yeah? This one, I'm not going to say too much about him because I want to do a review of him. So I'm not going to say nothing about him. All I'm going to say is have a look at him. See what you think. is really nice. I really like this figure. The collector who sold this to me uh, knew that this is the sort of stuff I buy. And he, he actually held it to me for this year to show me it and to, you know, for me to buy it. Because in the day, I could have said no. And he knew that I wanted stuff like this. So he knows what I want. And this really made me happy. So this will be, I will be doing a review on this figure very soon. A lot of these figures I'll be doing a review on, but this one I'll be very happy to do, yeah? Okay, so now for the main event. So now you've seen all that, you still stay tuned, you're still watching, that is great, and I really appreciate that, but this one I'm really happy with. I'm going to tell you a little short story, and then we'll get to it. What happened was, while I was at Kleptomania, I was looking at this guy's store, and he had this box open, and he was looking through it, and straight away I was like, oh, that looks really nice, I was like, I've got to check it out. So I went up to him, I was like, oh, that's a really nice figure. How much is that going for? He goes, it's just been dropped. Because the reason why it got dropped is because the box has got a bit of wear from carrying it to different toy fairs. Which, not being funny, but a figure like that, I don't really care about the box. Unless you want the value to go up, you care about the box. But for me, I'd rather have the figure than the box. But if I can have both, it's a blessing. But if, it's, if that's the reason why uh, the price is going to drop, then I'm happy with that. Because it's only a little bit of wear on the box and they're dropping the price 
And plus, when you're carrying it around all the time, you can put more wear onto it. So it does devalue it quite a lot. But the same point was, I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you why. This one, I'm only going to show you. I'm not going to do too much about it because this one, I'm going to do a review on again because I think it deserves uh, to have a single video done on it. But also, there's loads of accessories that come with it as well. And it's just a great piece. The box I'm not going to get rid of because I'm happy with it. So let's, let's get this out. But this one is really nice. It's nice and look, look, you know, and I grew up with this. I remember when this was on TV. So, you know, it's great. And this is the thing, you, you know, you go for stuff what brings back your childhood memories. So every toy I buy uh, brings back certain memories, what I keep, you know. Don't get me wrong, yeah, I do buy to trade and sell, but my main passion is, is to buy to get into my collection and to help other people out with the collection. That's the objective, you know. It's not about making loads of money. It's about having loads of toys and having loads of fun. The more toys I have, the more videos I can do. And the more you guys enjoy, the more you subscribe, and we go from there. But this figure is beautiful, like really good, if you can just get all that in. There's loads of accessories in there. Uh, it's in great condition. It looks like him, the main thing. Um, it's just a lovely figure. And I'm so happy with it as well, because... You know, you usually pay so much to get like a six inch figure or a 12 inch figure. But this one is probably, I can't even tell you. I'll find out, but it's a big figure, as you can see. And the detail is nice. It's just, it's just lovely. I was very lucky to pick this up. Very lucky. But the same point is, you know, this, this is so, oh, come on, look, you've got all the accessories in there. So you've got all the accessories. These are something where I'm going to get more into the video with and we'll talk more about it i know some of these bits come off but i'm happy with that Collectomania 23 was a success for me and my teammates we're all happy with it so i just want to thank everybody who took a photo with me i know it sounds cheesy but it was a great experience and some people made a tremendous effort with the costumes so they deserve they deserve all the comments and likes they get but i'm glad you guys watched the video I'm glad you guys are liked or, sh or shared, subscribe. If you have it, it doesn't matter. Just watch it and just see loads of great toys because at the end of the day, uh, collector first, business later, yeah? But this is what I'm talking about and I love it. This is the main event. So if anything, this is what's beating all the figures. But at the same point is they all have a different feel, like I keep saying, yeah? So this is Batman. Yeah, my name is Paul Michael Rudy. And thank you again for watching my video. Loads of more videos to come. The main video is going to be coming up very soon where you're going to see loads of different random clips of what we've done and loads of footage. You guys are going to love it. But for now, I'm out. Stay blessed. God bless. Bye-bye.